Hello Bampton fans and welcome to Bampton Racket Review and to this racket number 665. Today we have with us the Abroz Force Light racket. Now we'll go for the price and availability as we normally do. Uh, the current price of this is around the £49 mark. Uh, which is about the same as the Hammerhead and the Shark Tiger. They're slightly more expensive than the Abros uh, Nano 9900 and the Venom. Um, the availability, you can buy these from our website in Europe at www.badminton-racket-review.com or if you're in Asia, it'll be cheaper for you to buy it from Badminton Bay. There is a link below which will give you a 5% discount which we've negotiated with them or alternatively, you can go onto their website and uh, at the checkout point, enter the code BRR5 which will give you a 5% discount on your purchases. And that should really help uh, most of the world get hold of the racket because we can supply, we've supplied rackets now into so many countries, uh, Russia, America, Canada, India, uh, across Europe and obviously Bampton Bay also supply across the world. So it's actually a really good way to make sure Abroz reaches all parts of the globe without any problem. Now we should move on to racket specification. We, will com we are going to compare the manufacturer specs to our own e-zone testing. If you're not familiar with the e-zone, we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Okay, so let's see what we have on the racket here. We have a weight of 78 plus or minus two grams. 78 grams makes this super, super light, hence the name Force Light. The balance point of this racket, 290 plus or minus five. So that's very, very slightly going towards the head according to a bros. And the shaft stiffness is medium flex, medium flex on the star, uh, shaft stiffness. And maximum string tension, 30 pounds. Quite good for such a lightweight racket. Um, don't have a grip size here. Do we have a grip size? We do not. M racket is most likely produced in China. Uh, it doesn't say that here, but we, that's an assumption. Don't quote us on that. Um, and it is made of high modulus graphite, which is, I think is pretty standard. Right, now when we compare that to our own E-Zone testing, uh, the weight of the racket with the grip supplied by Abroz and the Yonex BG65 strings, it comes in at 80 grams in weight. Um, so, well done to a bros, that's really accurate in terms of the 78 plus or minus 2. The balance point, we measured the balance point at 307, so our balance point measured slightly more towards the head than the 290 plus or minus 5 which a bros quoted. And the flex was exactly as a bros found it to be a medium flex racket. The balance point is actually the one that is always the most different in uh, in the test that we do. Um, okay, now on to the design of the racket. It's actually really, really well produced. I remember, um, you know, Abroz is a manufacturer similarly to J Nice, which really are trying to penetrate the market. Um, they're trying to compete with the likes of uh, the cheaper Yonex rackets, the Apex rackets, and stuff like that. So I remember in our first ever video that when we tested and we were really shocked by the uh, Abroz rackets, I mentioned that the design was simplistic and that therefore it kept the cost down. The design levels have gone up a little bit. They've added a little bit more color, a few more graphics into the shaft and into the headspace. Um, and I have to say it's finished excellently. Uh, there's no quality difference in finishing from this than there is in any other racket on the market. Finished to uh, the paint finish, really high quality. And so many of these Abroz rackets now sold and touch wood, never a single complaint come back yet. Take a look at these close-up pictures and see what you think of the design for yourself.
Okay, so normally at this point we would go across to the E-Zone testing, but we are going to change the format slightly here now. Um, if you're not familiar with the E-Zone testing, we will talk that, about that in a minute. For those of you who are subscribers to the channel, subscribers to the E-Zone, one of the things you would have noticed is that we have taken out the control test where we used to drop shot into a bucket. Uh, that test has been removed after feedback given from our members. Uh, and the control test is now scored using a variety of on-court. Uh, when we're playing with the racket, we, we try it from various different positions on the court, very different positions in terms of grips and handling, and we make a judgment on the control and we score it accordingly. So that is a change uh, which has already affected the E-Zone uh, in this test session. Um, and the other factor is the E-Zone will now next year change where we will add a five more uh, elements to the scoring uh, which will give you a much deeper and much better understanding of each racket uh, which we think is going to help everyone in the badminton world so much more. Again, this is based on all the feedback we've received over the last couple of years having the E-Zone live and running. Right, so before we go on to the E-Zone smash and maneuver test, we're going to get, con con conclude what we think of this racket early. So those of you who are very, very familiar with E-Zone know what it's all about, don't really, aren't really fussed about seeing the smash test or the maneuver tests, uh, then you can, we, we can conclude and you can leave the video at this point. And for those of you who want to see those or are unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, then you can stay tuned. Now we use this racket, um, uh, we've tested it via the E-Zone Smash Maneuver Test. We've also taken it on court and tested it out. Uh, and I have to say it scored really, really high uh, on the E-Zone testing. And on the on-court testing, it scored really, really respectably too. Um, it is very, very light uh, and extremely fast in the air. There are the, the, they are the factors that you notice immediately picking this racket up compared to all the other rackets we tested out of the 27 rackets we tested during this test session, this one just felt crazy fast and really, really uh, light. I would say uh, this is the fastest abroad racket we've tested and possibly it goes up against uh, one of the fastest rackets of all times that we've tested, really quick airspeed. So what are the strengths? Well, obviously with something that is very, very uh, light and very fast in the air, you're going to get very good levels of defense, you're going to get very good levels of drive, and it also offers a really decent level of repulsion. Now the olden days when, olden days, well, going back just a few years, if you had a lightweight racket, getting the shuttle to move off the uh, racket was a lot harder. Uh, this one makes it fairly easy. Um, and it also offers a really decent level of control. Uh, where, where the only two areas that you have to bear in mind uh, where it, where it has, uh, ha requires a little bit more effort is uh, re uh, overhead shots and with smashes. They're the two areas that uh, you're going to get an okay smash, nothing massive, and the overhead shots do require a little bit more punch because of the, there's very little weight behind the racket. Um, I hope that helps you in your decision making process. If you are a quick player, you like to move fast on the court, you're a sukumulio, you like to be doing a lot of blocking at the net, finishing uh, the shuttle. Um, if you like to be in defense and tire your opponent out, good racket for that. You, you would really appreciate it. Um, uh, try it out yourself. If you like lightweight, lightweight rackets, this one is definitely worth trying and it offers very good value for money because uh, the Kampu Tenyu, which has had quality issues, um, is about 80 pounds, I think, or 85 pounds, can't remember. And the Featherweight X or the XS is about 70 pounds, 65 pounds, so at 49 pounds, this is actually a really good for value money racket. I hope that helps you, uh, and I hope you understand the racket a little bit better now. Now, for those of you who understand the E-Zone, uh, we're going to move on to that uh, shortly. But before you go, let me just thank you for tuning in today. Let me thank you for all the support we're receiving, for all the likes, for the massive amount of sharing that's going on. Uh, really appreciated. Thank you so much from all of us at the Badminton Racket Review Team. Please keep supporting us. Please keep leaving reviews on the channel. 
here on YouTube in the E zone. Really, really helpful uh, for other players to know what other people's experiences have been like, not just ours. So, really appreciate everyone doing that. And as I've said before, we're not like some of the forums out there where there's a um, a local bunch of P players who dominate the space. That's not going to happen here. Everyone gets a view. Everyone gets to say what they've got to say, provided it's said in a helpful manner uh we've got no problem with that even if your opinion is completely different to ours it's no problem at all just express your opinion leave reviews help other people out and build a small community that's really the aim um okay thanks again lots of love do like do share much appreciated we're going to move on to the e zone now if you're familiar with it you can sign out if you're not we shall continue so So, the BAM to Racket Review E-Zone is a platform at our website at www.bamtonracketreview.co.uk. You go to the E-Zone, it is currently chargeable at from prices are from £2 to £10. And what you're getting for that money is a massive amount of information, unlike anything that's ever been seen before in the badminton world. You will be able to compare rackets from 19 different world manufacturers and when you do start to cipher down which rackets you're interested in you can drill down even further and see in-depth testing all of our test results all our test jpegs test videos on each and every racket it's absolutely a phenomenal and really at that price it represents very good value for money however there is talk next year that the e-zone will be a free of charge platform so that could be quite exciting what do you need to know about the E-Zone testing itself? The E-Zone testing, um, we take all rackets and we restring them using Yonex BG65 string at £25 attention. We use the same shuttles for all our tests, the Yonex Aero Center 30. Um, it's the same player taking every shot within the E-Zone. Um, we also do an on-court test where we elaborate uh, the testing we extend it further so that we can give feedback and a uh, members only video within the e-zone so you get an even deeper understanding of the racket before you make a purchase um, so I'm going to move on now to the smash and maneuver test from the e-zone uh, for the Abros Force light straight after that we will be signing out so for now thanks for tuning in and I will see you on the next video here's the smash test